Hi, this is Mindy Starnes Clark, and welcome to Adventure in Christmas Village. It's a busy place, everyone getting ready for the holidays and having a good time, like the folks here enjoying a band play Christmas music. Well, except for this guy. His teenage daughter is supposed to meet him here, but she's not showing up, so he decided to go around and see if he can find her. Oops, she's behind the church kissing under the mistletoe. Meanwhile, back with the band, nobody notices what's going on there. A couple of raccoons are getting into the trash. The town has a nice hill for sledding, like this kid who's sledding down the hill into the park, where kids play leapfrog in the snow and swing on the swing set. And everyone enjoys the centerpiece of the whole celebration, the beautiful town nativity. They decided to have live animals this year, and so they hired an Amish family to come in, provide the animals, and care for them. Nearby, skaters are enjoying the ice, although the mother duck's a little disappointed that her pond is frozen. Nearby, a couple of boys. We're not sure what they're up to, but it looks like trouble to me. That's okay. The town dogs have it all under control as they watch the village from their viewpoint on the bridge and underneath the local turtle. Next we have the town paper boy who's usually quite a happy guy but he's been sad lately because he lost his beloved dog while on a walk in the woods. Next is the rest of the Amish family taking in the festivities well except for the little boy who seems more interested in the local K-9 unit. Of course there's always someone making angels in the snow, a couple in costume dressed as the Cratchits while a deer watches on from the woods. Now we head up the hill where Santa Claus is at the town gazebo, and everyone's in line to meet him and find out if they've been naughty or nice. At the end of the street is the toy shop, and in front of the toy shop, one very confused looking musician. The reason he's confused is because he's trying to figure out how to get down there to the rest of his band. Being from out of town, he doesn't realize the path's right there, it's just covered in snow. Finally, we go to the top of the hill where the counting house sits, which seemed an appropriate place, for some of our more impoverished citizens. And right around the corner from them, a mountain goat who came down from the hills to check things out. And there you have it, our little Christmas village which is busy, happy, and safe. Or is it?